just like that, what would we have said? Eh? That's why I always tell people to be careful around your houses and their farms. If you ask me, I'll tell you to fumigate your house. Hmm? Joma, I have fumigated it already. It was my carelessness that made the snake beat me. Because I saw it before it escaped and just came back from nowhere and just beat me. Chai, ne, sorry, eh? Hope you'll take your medications. You know, snake can be very poisonous. No. You... How is Mama? Mama is fine. She was even the one that cajoled me to come here today that I make sure I see you today today. Hmm? Mama, I'm ready to leave. You are ready? Yes. Ijoma, you, you refuse to go and see your daughter at the palace. I have said these times without number since you came back from school. You refuse to listen. You have mine though. What are you even learning in that school? Eh? Don't they teach you how to relate with your family? Mama. I told you before that Prince Namdi is not around. He's not in the village. Am I supposed to go to the palace without him being there? Oh, are you coming? Mama, I can't. I can't go there. Moreover, I, I don't even want to see the king. Hmm. I know why I'm saying this. tomorrow. That child is growing fastly. Don't complain, when she will start to treat you bad, don't complain. Mama, Biko, no. I am I'm, I'm running late. I'll call you when I get to school. Bye bye. No way I'm saying it though. Hey, I'll come at a bosu. So that was how I was able to settle with my father. And he forgive me. Oh. Yeah. No. Nem, your father is a good man. Not like Mazu Dekwe, who looks gentle, but his mind is a collection of everything. Um, that reminds me, how about that old man? Has he finally gotten a wife? <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Okeke, his cousin, got him one young lady for Miseke, who has two sons at home. For his father who couldn't have male child. Then she decided to marry. Since then, they have been living together. So the woman is exactly what he wanted. A fine lady with a nice call. But she's not that young. She should be around 36 or so. 36 or so. And you say she's not a young woman. She was. Uh, mm -hmm. that, that, that is not the story for today. You know the greatest joy mm -hmm. is that at least everyone will now be free from a ma and his retired school principal father will take yes, <laughs> You can say that again. Yes, sir. You can oh, That's nice. That's oh, beautiful. At I'm least. Oh, my God. 
real. I'm here for real. I'm here for real. I'm here for real. I'm for real. I'm here 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 for real. Like I've been telling you on the phone, what you did was very bad. If not for one thing, I would have cost you. A bone gun. Eh? A young girl that lost her father, I brought her here to help her go to school. Out of the blues, you shattered her plan. She had her dreams. Hey, I was thinking, if only I'm your real father, because no one from my groins will do such a thing that he did. Papa, Papa, I have pleaded with you to forgive me. I'm sorry. Those days were days of youthful exuberance. I was so stupid and acted out of ignorance. I was so childish. But I'm grown now and I'm no better. And I've come to say I'm sorry. I regret my actions. I, I just wish there is a way I can just you know, turn back the hands of time. I'm really sorry. You better start going to find her. Wherever you will see her. And plead for her forgiveness. If she forgives you, fine. But I doubt if she will ever forgive you. Because she passed through a lot. Oh. Papa, don't worry. Just, just relax, okay? I am here now. And I promise you that I will do everything within my power, Papa. I will go out of my way to make sure that I get things right, yes. I will make amends. Trust me on that. Uh, well, that is better. So, Papa, tell me, I hope you are enjoying those foreign drinks I got for you. But I am not talking about the foreign one. Go and look for that girl. Look at Oh. Okay, Papa. Okay, right, okay. Hi. Look at how you came into my poor home and wiped out my tears. The tears of a poor widow. If it's a panyam mirinanyam. Hi. So now I am the mother of a lawyer. Yes, Mama. Uh, very soon you'll be addressed as Mama Lawyer. <laughs> I think that Ijama, in all honesty, is a very brilliant young lady. She's just a victim of circumstance. Um, she's doing well with her studies and very soon um, she'll be done with law school and then she can be addressed as a barrister. Hey! <laughs> just in fact, eh, there's nothing this creator of the whole universe cannot do. Yeah? Look at my daughter who thought that her life has ended. Ifuwa! Lord God will bless you. See? You will never lack in this life. See? You will live to see your grandchildren up to the fourth generation. See? 
You will remember your father. Ah. Yes, you will remember him. Eh, me da nebe. Kai kan na murai, kan no murai. Iga kan na e. Aye, you will live long. You say. Aye. Da alun na mo. Da alun. I have a few more rounds to make in town. Uh, let me take my leave. I'll be on my way. <coughs> All right. I'm going to drive for my own. Afternoon. Uh, no, welcome. Thank you, ma'am. I am Chinedu from Oba village. Okay. No, oh. You are Ijoma's mother. Eh, mama, but more of a Okay, um, uh, is she around? Oh, she's not around. She's at the school where she's uh, doing her law something. Eh, I'm going to go to the school. We'll be back next week. Oh. Next week. Yes. Okay. I would really want to see her, so I I will come back next week. No problem. I'll come out. Oh. Okay. And next week you'll come back. Alright. Mom, I don't know. Do you have her, her phone number so I can <laughs> I can call her? Mama, I don't have it. I don't have it. I don't have a phone number. My phone, my phone, my phone number. I don't have. Uh, just come back next week. Okay, oh, uh, uh, are you her schoolmate? I'm a friend. Friend. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for your time, man. I I will I will come back next week. Thank you. And then um, just just have this. Just get anything for yourself. Move about you. Yes. Thank you. Hey, na dalo pa o. Thank you, ma. Thank you. Dalo, dalo, dalo chine. Thank you, ma. Be, be, but chikwe, is it even onye? Mama, when I come this week. Thank you. Okay, next next week. Dalo o. Next week. Next week o. Bye bye. Next next week o. Next week. Hey! Hold you go! Hold you go! You changed completely. Really? Yes. <laughs> I don't understand. How do you mean I changed well, completely? Well, you look more beautiful now. Yes! Seriously, oh, I thought you said um, being an American nurse is so tedious. So what actually happened? Maria, please forget about uh, it. No, you were just, just eating everything. <laughs> <laughs> just forget it. Um, by the way, how is the king? Yeah, the king is fine. Oh. Good to know. Amara, look at you. You can see Amara. Amara has grown so much. <laughs> look at your chest. I missed you so much. My darling, I missed you too. You look so beautiful now. Oh, really? Uh, <laughs> now her again. <laughs> very kind woman. Everything you sent to Amaraji, I took notice of them. You kept calling to know how she was faring. So kind of you. My God will bless you. God bless you to your majesty. 
Amarachi has been nice to me too. The fact that her mother treated her bad and she found herself here in this palace really shows that she's a blessed child. Well, Kate, I told my brother yesterday that you were going to come back and the first thing he did this morning was to ask if you called. Well, Daisy, I am not here for your brother. I came here to see your majesty, Amarachi, and of course you. I am not here to see your brother. Uh, he still loves you, don't forget that. Well, yeah, if it is the will of God that both of you get married, it shall come to pass. Your majesty, Nandi has never called me for once since I traveled. Well, the fact that I'm still single is because I've not found someone that I love. If not, I would have gotten married long time ago. Oh, oh, Kate, like father said, if it is the will of God, definitely you both will end up together. The mother says she's in school. She will be back next week. So, I'll wait. Like I will surely see her. Yes, I must see her. Brother, all I know is that this movement is going to be a fruitless one. Because as a woman, I understood what rape is all about. It's actually a pity that I was not around when this whole thing happened. I would have prevented it. Now it's over 10 years and nobody cares. Mama, because of the way you handled the whole issues, you couldn't see the legs to go see mother and child. Mom, how is it my fault? Eh? She did do he lied to me. He lied to me that he was not responsible. Eh? If I had known, I would have handled it maturely. Now it's over 10 years. What do we do? I'm confused already. Hey! hey. Everything lies on Ijoma right now. But, brother, we have to go see her first. And her approach will definitely determine how we will follow everything up. Sure. I, I must see her. Yes, it's a must. It's not a problem. Mama, mama, mama what, 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 what happened? I am not happy with, with the way this house is and everything. Just look at the curtain, so outdated and worn off. What happened? I don't know. I've been sending money. What can you even send them? You have been sending money, yes. But uh, we have to think. But for the house issue, ask your father. Um, I have a gist for you. Really? A gist? Okay, I'm listening. I met this. Oh, um, don't, don't go there. <laughs> don't go there. Oh, oh, I, I, you. I, are you okay? Excuse You'll be like that. Don't go there. <laughs> Nothing like that. Whoa, land is back. Who <laughs> like you Ah, you're going to break my waist one day. Huh? You're growing into a very beautiful lady, you know. Yes. Huh? How are you today? Fine. Huh? You don't want to come with me. Okay. Yeah. No problem, yeah come, 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 come. Yes, welcome. <laughs> yeah, get in. Right. Fantastic. Absolutely. Well, I, I said that Kate is back. I said welcome. No, I don't understand this whole thing. After five whole years, how dare you actually like this? Ha! Huh. Sweetheart, you amaze me. You were the one who woke me up this morning to ask if Kate was back. And when you saw her, 
You acted up. <laughs> well, at least I said hello. Oh, is that how to greet a friend? No more care, no more smile. She left for abroad to study. Now she has graduated and she came back. And all you could do was that mellow drama out there. Ah, that was bad. You should value friendship. It's important. The fact that you said it's over is not enough reason for you to keep malice. Bro, oh, nobody knows tomorrow. Mm -hmm. She might be of help to you tomorrow or the other way around. I don't like this whole thing, please. You, should, you better change. Yes, forgive her, please. I don't even know what she did to you. Just give me her. a second chance it's too much. to let my mind. Oh, oh, oh. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I was going to say something in the car, but you never give me the opportunity to. And now? I want to say it. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. I want to say a very big thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do you mean? Mm -hmm. For what is that exactly? Thank you for what? Thank you for everything. Okay. Now that you've been such a very nice man. I know. Okay. Let's get serious. <laughs> no, joke apart. Right. You did for me what no man ever did. You've been amazing. You've been nice. You wiped away my tears. Look at me. Ijoma. Roaming around this village is now a barrister. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're welcome. I mean, who knows what would have happened if not for Amarachi. That innocent little girl you were trying to beat to a pulp that morning. Huh? You know, sometimes what you don't value values you a lot. You know? I regret my actions. I really want to make things right. I. I, I want to have her back. I just want that daughter and mother and mother connection. Ijama, do you love me? Hmm? Yes, I do. Because I sponsored your schooling, huh? Eh? Oh, no, 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 not at all. Come on, I lo who wouldn't love you? I do love you sincerely from my heart. Not because you saw me through school, but because you never demanded for anything. You have never ever demanded to have carnal knowledge of me, regardless of... You know, you could have taken advantage of me. You did everything for me. It would have been so easy for you to take advantage of me because, you know, things I didn't ask for, you did. You're a great man. You're good. You are nice. And that is the reason I love you. So now you can love a man and appreciate a man. 
now you know that all men are not beasts. Huh? Look, I want you to open up your heart and forgive this man. Open up your heart and let it go. Especially now that you have traveled, you have well read, you have achieved academic excellence, you have fulfilled your dream of being a lawyer. Let it go. I know it hurts, but please forget all that transpired and forgive. Please. That man made me worthless. He took my skin. He broke me into pieces. I went through so much pain because of him. I would never. Oh no. I would never. No. Ever. No, no, no. no. I would. No. Never say never. <laughs> never. Never say never. I'll be great on my attitude, please forgive me Just give me a second chance to write my mind oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry I have been waiting for the marriage between the prince and Ijoma, but there is no news yet. No, what do I? Calm down. Mm. Eh? Are you aware that royal wedding takes a lot of planning? Do you know why I call Fedora Rosola? I know. <laughs> but the news should have been everywhere now. No, you're right. Ijoma is now a lawyer. She has been called to the bar, I believe, very soon after her youth service, the traditional marriage will come. I guess that will end. But remember, it was a human being that got her pregnant, not an animal. As such, the man will still come for his child. This one he said the prince wants to take the child to. How? Oh, Oluchi. That child was raised in the palace. The palace took care of her school up till today. Where is the so called father? Was he not the one that wrote her and made her pregnant? Even wanted an old man like Nazu Dekwe to ask her hand in marriage. Here you are talking rubbish, child and father. No, please leave Mazu Dekwe out of this. That young lady has really suffered. Especially when she was carrying the child. And look at her now. God has remembered her and wiped her tears. Why are you talking? It's swell. Why you talking? It's swell, What are you doing in my father's house? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Get out! Get out! Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. 
Get out! 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 <laughs> it's okay, I just come. We have left already now, please. <laughs> is a beast. He destroyed my life. He ruined my future. He made me a thing of mockery in this village. What did he come here to do? To show me how rich and how rich and influential he is. Is that why he came here? Ijoma, please calm down. This didn't happen years ago. The young man must have been here to tender an apology. You should have listened to him. Did I hear you say listen to him? Chesa, have you ever been raped before? Do you know the trauma I went through? Do you know how I suffered with that pregnancy? I had no father, no brother, no sister except my mother. What did I do? Where did I go wrong? That I was sent to his father's house to continue my studies. And the beast tore my virginity apart. And you want me to listen to him? Ijoma, Ijoma, please calm down. I know what he did was bad, but you are now what God said you are. And God has found you worthy, and he has blessed you through the prince. Why can't you just forgive and let it go? Ijoma, Biko, let go. Please. I won't forgive him. I won't. Funny enough, he has been here before to see my mother. He gave my mother some money and my mother didn't know who he was. I swear to you, if my mother had known that he is the same beast who has caused me these whole problems the whole time, he wouldn't have left here the same way he came. But I know what to do. Ijoma, Ijoma, don't do anything. You had better start Consider on how you are going to forgive him and move on with your life. I'm not going to move on with my life because I am going to file a lawsuit against that bastard. I will make sure he goes to prison. It's just like him out there hurting people's children, girl children every day. And you ask me to forgive him and let him go? Aja, please, don't do anything, please. Oh, my mom. Oh. Please, Ijoma, calm down. But don't do anything. Please calm down. I understand how you feel. I do. I'm a woman like you. I understand how you feel. Please calm down. Please. Please. Please calm down. What should I have done? That time, your mother was calling her names and promptly refused me from saying anything. Was it her tears? Her broken heart and all that? The truth is, Chine do, my son. No matter how much you must have made in this life, building house here and there, you remain a rapist. If you do not go 
and make that innocent girl forgive you. You remember when I was sounding a note of warning to you to stop following those street boys? Now, look at where it has landed you. Nay. Nay, we must not continue to dwell in the past. Eh? It takes a man to do what my son is doing right now. She should understand that this thing happened long ago when they were all younger. I'm sure my son is more mature now to handle things. For a man to stoop so low and ask for her forgiveness, it's not easy. So she should consider it. Mama, please. Stop talking like that and act like a woman. This girl might decide to take this matter up and it will end in court. It's in court. Just that she may not know her rights. Brother, please. Do not relent. Press on. Not because she had a child for you, but because you did the worst thing anyone could do to a woman. Yes. Let her see the true remorse. She may forgive you. But as for the marriage, nothing in this life would make her to agree to marry you. Because she's already seen you as a beast. It will only take the grace of God. For her to agree to that. I, I, I look so stupid right now. I, I regret everything. I wish I didn't do this. I, I wish this whole thing never happened. <laughs> I wish I didn't do this to have been a sad girl. Whose father died and was brought to this house for refuge. I regret the whole thing. Even if she forgives me, will, will God ever forgive me? It's alright, my son. God will forgive you if you go for that. It's okay, bro. Stop crying. She will forgive you. It's okay. Everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. I think I've learned my lessons And I want to set things right again Give me a second chance Just to right my wrongs I'll make it up to you hey, I wish I can turn back the ends of time I wish I can go back to the past And right on my wrong But do what I did to you but I'm down on my knees saying, please forgive me I am sorry for the past I regret all my attitude Please forgive me Just keep Mama, good afternoon Mama, I'm sure you must have known who gave you money the other day And that the person is a beast And that is exactly what you are. And I am happy that you understand your true nature. Beast. It is good that you came. Let me bring your money for you. I still kept it. So that you leave my compound immediately. Because a rapist and a beast should not be seen anywhere in my house. Or... Oh? I will shout so that my husband's kinsmen will all gather here for you. Please. Please, I am sorry. I am sorry about the whole thing. I am here so that you and the Joma can forgive me. I know that what I did was wrong. But Mama, please, it happened when I was a child. I went against my father's advice. I disobeyed him, yes. 
because he did advise me against these street boys and they actually introduced me so introduced me to all manner of nonsense, Indian hemp, cannabis and all that. And this happened. But mama, please, please just see me as your son. See me as your son, mama, and forgive me. I beg you. Was that an excuse? <laughs> now tell me! Was that an excuse? <laughs> rape is rape. No matter the age and the time it happened. You knew that my daughter had no one that will speak for her. And you did what you did to ruin her life. Her future. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> you were aware that my husband died and my only son also died in motor accident and that was why your father who is a good man came and took his job off from me just to make my body less for me for him to lessen my body and that gave you a way to my daughter's life. You took advantage of her. Get out of my house. I'm ashamed of you. I'm ashamed of you. You are nothing but a bunch of disgrace. That young man has been dead. And I am sure he has changed. I know what he did was an abomination. But the truth remains that he is the father of your child. Please forgive him. Please. If you ask me one more time to forgive Chinidu, you automatically become my enemy. Why would you say that to me? Why? Do you know what that man did to me? Do you know what it feels like to be designed by rape and become pregnant with no one standing by you except you, my mother? And you want me to forgive him? I would rather die. I would rather die than forgive Chinidu. Mama, don't ask for this favor again. I beg you. Don't. Ijuma, please listen to us. If not for anything, just because the way God remembered you through the prince. He's not even asking for Amarachi. Of course, he can't do that. Considering the fact that you weren't married to him, and Amarachi was as a result of rape incident. What we're saying is for you to forgive him so he can he can leave you alone. Please just just forgive him. Don't, Don't you ever! I would never ever do it. And if any of you make any statement about this incident again, I swear to God who made me, I will lose it. We should wait for the third badge, if that is the point. But ne, all I know is that we are done with school. You are done with school. Chinas, I thought I told you to write those carryovers while I was in law school. At least by now we'll be talking about youth service. But I told you about that very stupid lecturer that swore that he must sleep with me before I leave the school. And he kept on failing me or my sister. It was the SCG president that recently reported the matter to the Senate. That is where it is now. That is where the matter is to them. No, no, wow. You know, I just thank God that I never ever went through that while I was in school. How have I taken Bula? 
<laughs> Even as I ugly rich, I hide my face for school. Story. What would I have done? For Sorry. Sister? Uh -huh. no. How is that your child's father? My daughter doesn't have a father who is a beast. And don't mention it again. But you told me how old you were when you gave birth to your daughter. And that should also explain how old it is. You both were younger and he might not have known what he did. All I'm asking you to do, IK, is to forgive. God has raised you beyond measures, my friend. Chinaza, Chinaza, I have spoken to you about preaching forgiveness to me before, haven't I? Moreover, the prince has adopted my daughter. He is now a father to her, although I don't know what he has in mind. But please, stop preaching forgiveness to me. Like, you will propose? Like, he wants to propose? Well, he... I don't know. He hasn't said anything, but if he does, I mean... You will accept. Why are you happy? <laughs> but let me ask you something. For a man who single-handedly saw me through school, while I studied a professional course, he is not married and I'm single. I know so you be Olodo, but at least you pass mass for jam. Do the calculation. Hey, 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 someone is in love. <laughs> my friend, my friend. Hey, baby. <laughs> I don't know. not been yourself for some days now. What is eating my brother up? What is it? Oh, I'm okay. It's nothing you should bother your head about. I'm fine. But I'm your sister. You should talk to me. What is it? Oh. I'm not really comfortable not seeing you being happy. You know that. I'll be okay. Really? Yeah. Oh, I just thought of something. Big bro, is it actually about choosing between a lawyer and a microbiologist turned a nurse? Well, I will advise you to think properly because one is from a refined Christian home while the other is a rape victim who had a child for another man. So big bro, think properly, okay? Cut out. Baby, what are you telling me? I mean, why would you be playing this slow game with this girl? A girl that has your child. She's with your child and you're playing this rubbish with her. Taking it as if it's just a common thing. What am I? What are you? Ikem. You wait, wait, don't Ikem me. You know how we suffered in abroad to make this money, right? And God blessed you so much, more than any other person. I am Alkisi Patega. We lack on each other. Not that one from this girl now. Now for you. There is something you don't understand. You can. This is a rape matter. Rape. Rape. Do you, do you even understand? It's not as if we were dating and, you know, something rape proper. Is this something I should just, you know, come all out and use force or something? I don't, I don't get it. And so what? Then you say, do you guys like, you know, nah, it, it was a wine. Man, I don't understand you. I don't understand you. 
See, there was a rape, right? After the rape, there was pregnancy. A child came. Abi, Abi, the child not be your own. It's mine. And what are you telling me now? Go for your child. See, in fact, see, let me tell you. It's not that I'm supporting rape. If it were to be my sister, when the one again, hmm? I hadn't thought hear you. But this one has taken long. It has been for years. Oh, but I didn't have married me. You don't want to give you now. If you love that girl, propose to her. If she refuses, man, collect your child and walk away. Nadia, Baba Dog. Seeing you is seeing the beast. What are you doing in my house again? I beg you, can you just calm down and listen to me? I will me? not calm down and listen to anything. I am going to say this again. I never ever want to see you in my life. So please take yourself and the lady standing beside you and get out of my father's house. Ichima, please, calm down. Do you even know me? Of course I don't. Obviously you are a beggar who has come here to beg on his behalf. I want you two to leave this house now. Your mother was too harsh. Well, I am Edith, Chinidu's younger sister. And yes, we are beggars because we have really offended you. And as a woman, I want you to listen to me as a fellow woman. I would not listen to anything from you. Let me ask you, have you ever been violated? Has any man ever taken you against your wish? I was a young girl who has never ever been with a man before. And your brother took my virginity. Your mother came here, mocked me before my mother and my kinsmen. Called an innocent girl who has never ever been with a man. A witch. And you stand here to ask for my forgiveness. I will tell you. I tell your brother to leave this place. Because I know the only reason you're here is to take my child. I suffered to groom. Take your little sister out of this place. Because I do not, I do not want to go just, crazy. Just calm down, please. Just, just calm down, Ijoma. Calm down. Take a deep breath. And listen to me. I am not here for the child. I am here to tell you what happened i'm here to tell you about me please just give me the chance and listen ijama please listen to him and his sister be gone please i'm sorry i'm sorry i i'm sorry about the whole thing I wronged you in all ramifications. Yes, I know I am wrong. Forgive me, please. Just find a place in your heart to forgive me. I am so sorry. Please. You know you're lucky. You're so lucky I have grown. You're so lucky I am a mother. You're so lucky I'm a better person. And you're lucky I gained education. Else, you wouldn't want to see the other side of me. You would take yourself and your little sister and get out of my father's house. I am not going to say it again. Get out. I think I've learned my lesson. And I want to set things right again You give me a second chance Just to right my wrongs I'll make it up to you hey. I wish I can turn back this of time I wish I can go back to the past And right on my wrong But do what I did to you But I'm down on my knees saying Please forgive me I am sorry for the past. I regret all my attitude. Please forgive me. Just give me a second chance to write my wrongs. 
Please forgive me. I am sorry for the past. I regret all my attitude. Please forgive me. Just give me a second chance to right my wrong. Turn back the hands of time. I wish I can go back to the past and right on my rank or do what I did to you. But I'm down on my knees saying, Please forgive me. I am sorry for the past. I regret all my attitude. Please forgive me. Just give me a second chance to right my wrongs. Please forgive me. I am sorry for the past. I regret all my attitude. Please forgive me. Just give me a second chance to write my wrong. You have to take it easy and follow her. Continue to show her love. When she sees that you're truly sorry, who knows? She would accept and forgive you. As a woman, I understand how it really hurts. Did it. What, what, what else am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? Tell me! For how long? For how long would I continue to take these insults? I think I would have to go to court. Yes. To claim my child. Even if you were not serving some jail terms. Provided I, 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 I get my baby. Brother, no judge wants to hear the word rape. In case you don't know, rape is a serious case. Just that Africans and their government doesn't take it serious because it's only happening to the female gender. We must all lend our voices and deal with whoever that is involved in it. The trauma it causes the female gender is too huge. Look, you have made money and you built this mansion. This case can actually take off everything in one second. That's why you just have to calm down and follow it properly. What else? Wait, what? Calm down. Just calm down. You committed a crime, remember? Calm down. Hey, you mean you went with your sister and she did not listen to you? That Ijoma told me to my face that over her dead body will she forgive me and I'm not going to see the child. What are you telling me? Is she crazy? Like, is she going north? Which one? See, she's, she's so lucky that I'm not the one involved. Else I would have used the money I made in Europe dealing with her, man. What are you telling me? You see that child, guy? She must provide that baby. Now I'm lying as well. No call the door. You are a man. Else something bad, eh? Would happen to her, man. No, 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 no! Huh? Please, 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 move back. Don't give my brother such advice. I am a woman. And I know how it feels when a girl is being raped. Let's not open your mouth and be talking anyhow because you are black people who doesn't value women like the whites. Brother, you must try as much as you can to get Ijoma's mind back. Get her line or something. Send her text messages telling her how sorry you are. No woman is a devil. But our approach determines how a woman reacts. It is. You've defended your folks so well, right? <laughs> Maybe we should do as you said. Oh, yeah. Please, brother, don't go to Joma's house with the likes of Ikim. 
because he would definitely scatter the whole process. see myself forgiving Chinidu. He disgusts me so bad. No, I can't forgive him. I am already in love with Prince Namdi. Oh my God, why me? How can I leave the man who has been taking care of me this whole time? I know once I allow this Chinidu and forgive him, something must follow up and I don't want it. Namdi has shown me that all men are not the same. He has never for a day asked me of the color of my pant or the size of my breast with all the money he spent on me while I was in school. I know he loves me so much even though he hasn't proposed to me. I know he's just waiting for the right time to do so. Do I just forgive this beast or should I keep chasing him away? I don't want the prince to... Anyway, I know what to do. Thank you. So can I go back? I have one last favor to ask. Okay, what is it again? <laughs> <laughs> okay, here it is. Um, if I ask you to be my woman, would you say yes? Shut up, but say that again. <sighs> if I propose to you, you say yes. If that is a proposal, I'll say yes. I mean, yes! 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 I. Come on! It's okay, it's fine. I hear you. Come on. It's okay. <laughs> Thank you. However, I'm going to plan a proposal. Because I'm not just going to leave you for anyone. You're a good woman. Beautiful. 